Hey, it's me. Yeah, we just got back from our trip. We took the red eye flight, probably landed in Seoul about 10 a.m., and walked straight off the bus to our Airbnb in the heart of Hongdae. It was perfect. Yeah, I mean, you know us, we got straight into exploring, but oh my god, there is so much to see in this city, there's no way we could possibly do it all, but damn, what we saw was beautiful. The view of this city from the top of Seoul Tower was incredible, and just the atmosphere up there in general. Something really special about it, but yeah, we actually got really lucky too. The air quality was perfect that day, so super clear view. You know, it was also really cool to experience this juxtaposition of how the city still takes pride in its culture while also embracing more modern aspects where things are seemingly made with the age of social media in mind. <laughs> oh my god, you know how much I hate that word, but yes, I must admit, aesthetic definitely comes to mind. Ah, the food! Oh my god, the food! Ah, so good! Yeah, yeah, we managed to get out of Seoul as well. So we did a day trip to Ilsan, which was for the Flower Festival, and I mean, that's another one where the camera does not do it justice, just so stunning. Oh, and we took the train down to Busan as well, which, I mean, <laughs> was an experience in itself. All the KTX trains were sold out that day, and we ended up standing for four and a half hours. But thankfully, the scenery was well worth it when we finally arrived. But I mean, technically, we also hit Guangzhou while we were there, but not for very long. It was really just in and out to go to the super concert. And I mean, you don't have to hear from me again how excited I was to finally see BTS live, but wow, it, it was amazing. And all the performers did an incredible job. So I, ugh, I wish I could go back. trash I have become but sorry to say it only fueled the addiction <laughs> I thought 
way too many albums. <laughs> I mean, this here is just from the first trip. <laughs> I got you know. Another really cool way to experience music over there though is also the amount of street performers and such variety as well. Um, so it was really cool just to see how much joy they bring so many people who gather around to watch. And I know you're not even into K-pop, but trust me, even you could have appreciated SM Museum because wow, it really reminded me of how I originally got into it, which was the fashion. And I mean, wow, can we talk about fashion for just a second? Because everyone is so freaking stylish. I've never felt so underdressed in all my life. No, actually, you know what? I'll just FaceTime you later and show you what I picked up because it's a lot. <laughs> my bank account is definitely crying, but yeah, I guess I'll, I'll let you go for now. Um, I'm home, I'm unpacking, and I'll, I'll FaceTime you soon. Bye.